There are a total of 255 galaxies in No Man's Sky you can travel to by regular means. Amongst those, there are four main galaxy types, starting with Normal 1, with Euclid and Hilbert Dimension being the first two galaxies of this type. The third one, Calypso, is the first harsh type galaxy, having plenty of planets generated with extreme environments, making activated metals like activated copper or indium significantly easier to find. Budulang, with number 7 on the list, belongs to an empty galaxy type which planets have been noted to be generated with higher terrain variants, having tall mountains, deep canyons or being unbelievably flat. Lastly, probably the most desirable of all, large type of galaxy, known for huge number of beautiful, paradise-like planets, many of them having calm weather. The first galaxy of this type is Isentum, galaxy number 10. While you can find those planets in any type of galaxy, they are more abundant in any given type. Today, you're going to travel to all of them. Hello and welcome, this is Tomaszewski and in this video I'm going to tell you how to get to the Galaxy Center, available methods of travel, as well as how to get to first 10 galaxies in under an hour. For those of you who know the basics of travel, as well as consequences of traveling through the core, please skip to the time shown on the screen. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, continue watching. When you start a game or travel through the core, you'll always end up around 700,000 light years from the center. Your first method to get to the core would be to use your own starship, that fully upgraded will get you up to 3000 light year range. 3300 for the Explorer. Making center of the galaxy approximately 230 warp gems away. You can reduce that number by using black holes along the way that will get you between 6 to 8000 light years closer. If you complete the Atlas Path quest, you'll gain the ability to see black holes locations on your galaxy map. Without it, you're going to have to ask Polo for its coordinates each time you use one. Bear in mind that using black holes will always damage one random component in your starship that is located outside the technology section. Living ships are significantly more resistant to black hole damage, but not completely indestructible. The second method is to use your freighter, as since desolation update they can be upgraded over 6000 range and in my personal experience it took me 3.5 hours to travel from the edge to the center of one of the galaxies. Bear in mind that once you travel through the core, all your technology, both on your starship as well as your exosuit, that is not placed in the technology section, as well as your currently active multi-tool will get damaged, requiring repair. In order to battle that, make sure you put all or as many technologies in technology section and equip multi-tool you don't care as much if it gets damaged. You can also buy the cheapest ship, set it as your active one by jumping in and out, and use your freighter to travel instead. Whichever method you're going to use, remember you're going to have to have your hyperdrive fully charged. Also, something that wasn't very clear to me, as I was always deselecting the system to choose another, for the travel through the core you cannot deselect the system but rather move and hold your direction towards the path to be able to select the core, while having galactic core path chosen. Remember that you can always save yourself the hassle of traveling through the center if you find someone who has the access to the galaxy you're interested in by simply joining him. At the time of making this video, the PlayStation Community Highlight Desert Serpent will take you directly to Isentum and Shipwreck Cove to the center of Euclid. I know that one of the PC community highlights is also located at the center of Euclid, but I am unsure of any Xbox ones. Additionally, you can play a near-miss game by jumping to player bases in hopes they will be located in other galaxies. I managed to get the Hilbert Dimension this way once. You can also choose the type of the galaxy you'd like to jump next, by simply completing the Artemis quest, as at the end of it, you'll be presented with that choice. 
So how do we travel to first end galaxies in under an hour? There are two options. First, providing you already at the center of any galaxy, you can use what's known in the community as core to core jumping. Published in May of 2020, as discovered by these two gentlemen, core to core jumping is a method of travel allowing to jump through the core of one galaxy and immediately end up at the core of the next one. In order to do that, all you have to do is to use a black hole before jumping through the core. And, for as long as you won't reload your save, every consecutive jump will always bring you to the core of the following galaxy. Despite this method being featured on No Man's Sky Wiki, it is an obvious glitch, so for those of you who are not comfortable with using it, I have prepared a path consisting of portal addresses that will take you to the gateway system of first 9 galaxies. For this method, you are going to need all 16 portal glyphs, a friend, a bunch of Gek relics, Viking daggers and Corvax casings, and either a few planetary charts for ancient artifact site, or access to an exocraft with signal booster upgrade equipped, to be able to find alien monolith. To understand how it's going to work, let me guide you step by step. Let's say your friend went through the portal first. And here is the address for the gateway system in Euclid Galaxy. What you're going to do is to wait at the anomaly and join him once he arrived at the destination. From there, you're going to jump through the core to the next galaxy. In the meantime, your friend goes back through the portal to go to the anomaly himself. Upon arrival, you have to find a portal. So either use your planetary chart or an exocraft to find an alien monolith. Remember to autosave before answering the monolith question, as you might get it wrong the first time. After that, interact with the monolith again to locate the portal. Once portal found, input the next set of coordinates. These will take you to the gateway system in Hilbert Dimension that you're currently in. After you arrive, you're going to tell your friend to join you, and after he does, you're going to go back through the portal and back to the anomaly. From there, your friend will repeat the exact same steps you've just done. Meaning, he's going to jump through the core, locate the portal, and input the next set of coordinates with you waiting at the anomaly until he stepped through the portal. From this point on, all you have to do is rinse and repeat all the above steps. And here are remaining coordinates. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As always I had fun making it and I'm looking forward to seeing you in more galaxies. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.